I got a Daisy 880 shooting some Crossman. Premier hollow points out of it. I just made a homemade pellet loader. I used needle nose pliers, regular pliers, a heavy duty paper clip. That's it. I just twisted it up real good to where it'll fit around the, the back of the pellet. And what I do is, I'm going to show you. I get it. I press, that, I press the paper clip on the back of the pellet. And it ain't coming off. It's on there. You can adjust it how tight you want it. And everything. And what I do is, I open the bolt on the Daisy 880. I put the pellet in front of the chamber. Push the bolt up to the back of the pellet to where the head of the pellet will go into the chamber. Then I stop. Then I pull the paper clip off. Then I close the bolt and the pellet will load. This is a homemade pellet loader for a Daisy 880. If you got a scope on your rifle, it's going to be hard to put that pellet in there without it turning five different ways to get it loaded. And I made this homemade a paper clip, some needle nose pliers, some regular pliers. I got it twisted up and I'm going to try it out but it works. I've loaded several pellets in it. No problem. You can get the pellet, with, pick the pellet up with your hand, put it on there, or if you got it, you got a shooting table, you got a couple of pellets laid down, you can easily just get the paper clip and put it over the pellet and pick it up. And like I say, it ain't coming off, but you can adjust it to get it how tight you want it. I've seen a few pellet loaders made, and like I say, I ain't buying them, so this is about good as it's gonna get, but if I didn't have a scope, I wouldn't worry about it, but I got a scope on my day's 880. I got a 3 by 9 by 40 on it. Nice scope. The little scope it came with, it was too much of an eye strainer. I ain't got time for that, but this is a homemade pellet loader. Later.